So the first website is called Alexa.com. So if you go to Alexa.com, it's known as the web information company and it has a lot of statistics about tons and tons of websites around the world. So let's say for example that you want to do research on a specific niche, let's say low cholesterol cooking. And you're interested in this niche, you don't really know necessarily what product you want to create or let's say you do want to know you want to create a recipe or release a recipe. But you want to do some research beforehand before you get into that market. So what you can do is simply enter the keyword that you're interested in and click enter. And Alexa.com will show you exactly what sites are getting the most traffic in that niche, so possible competition. The lower the rank, the higher amount of traffic that the site is getting. And beneath each site, you will notice that there are keywords. So this will give you some more options in terms of other little sub niches within the general niche that you're looking for. So let's take for example low calorie meals. If we click on this keyword this will tell you exactly the competition, the engagement and everything like that. So let me explain a little more detail what this means. So it'll give you the top sites for that specific keyword. It will tell you the share of voice, which are basically the percentage of all searches for low calorie meals that lead to this specific given site. Engagement basically tells you how long a person stays on the website. So if you want to know how loyal and how high of a stick rate these buyers could potentially have, this would be a good measure, not necessarily the only measure, but it would be one of the good variables and variations of measurements that you can use to measure the engagement and interaction that a buyer in the specific niche has with a particular site. So if it's about the same across the board on all these different sites, that's a good measure of the engagement. Now, Alexa also tells you the competition for that specific keyword. It'll tell you if it's low, if it's high, and things like that. So as you can see, low calorie meals seems like the competition is low, which is great. Now, keep in mind that just because there's low competition, it doesn't always mean that the market is something that you want to go into. You always want to make sure that you go into a market that has competition because that means that there is a buying market if you go into a market that doesn't have any competition whatsoever you happen to be the only person in that market then the problem with that is that you're going to have to educate the market because they're not aware of that product there really isn't necessarily a lot of people buying in it so it's going to be harder for you to sell. So that's just something to think about when you do your research. Now if you want to dig deeper into a site itself, let's say for example Delish.com because as you can see Food Network is a fairly big site. We can take a look at Delish which is about 4% share of voice. If we take a look at the specific site, it will actually tell you between the certain years how much cert certain amount of traffic it could be getting from the search engines so as you can see it seems to be increasing in terms of the amount of visitors it's up 15 percent you can see the specific keywords that people are typing in to get to the site so this is great especially if you're trying to dig deeper into competition understanding the competition and where they are ranked you know what sites are related to the specific site so you can get more competition and where do visitors go on this specific site so which specific areas of the site 
are in high demand. So this will allow you to really dig deeper and really understand also your demographics as well. So you can see here who visits Dallas.com so you can understand your demographics, the education level, the browsing location, and the country location. So let's say, for example, you know that the majority of people are within the United States within a specific area of the United States or Canada or, or whatever. And then you can pinpoint specifically to that location. So you can get all the way and dig deep into that specific location. So this is really good information to know for especially future marketing as well. So I'd highly advise you to, to go to Alexa.com and just take a look around and get an idea of some market research and competition research. Now, if you want to dig deeper, let's say, for example, into a specific competitor, then you can go to a site called compete.com. And at the front page here, you'll notice that you can enter a URL, for example, Dallas.com, and do a search. And you can start a free trial to get more information on, you know, audience, age, income, gender, and more demographics, basically, on your competitors. But as you can see here, you can see a graph of the amount of different visitors that are coming. You can see a decrease, possibly maybe if it's seasonal, if the product is seasonal, then you maybe want to market on a certain time and things like that. So this is good information to know. And you can see the unique visitors, the rank, the competitive rank against all the other websites. And you can find out more information by clicking start your free trial if you want more information and detailed reports about your competitors. So that's another great site to use to dig deeper. And as you can see, just on the free level, you get some basic information. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.